even you with more fire and everything, the pioneers are the ones that uh, don't see the actual glory of the thing all the time in every aspect, every genre of life. Most people who started things because they're starting them. You are bound to either miss something or don't concentrate on this. Like, for example, I, I realized how much money I slept on myself when I'm not on the online game. And there was a part of me that was either lazy or also it was that whole thing of, ah, I've made it, I'm on TV, I've, I, it's okay, it's enough. Uh, I, I didn't see it as an expansion. And it, it can happen to anyone to just like, you lack the vision of who you are at that moment. All the classic revolution albums now available on Spotify, Apple Music, and on all digital music stores. chill to everybody i love this can can the camera show everyone in the room so that everyone is part of history you don't tell your children i was there this day show everyone in the room show everyone must show everyone yes okay it's a historical moment celeste is not just anyone guys cherry sure. boom is booming eh? I record everyone in the room so you guys are all part of history sure yeah. let's go wow. this doesn't happen every day Oh wait, <laughs> that's yeah. is booming. But Podcast and Chill team made sure that it happens. Bra. 8,000 people Bra. showed up. McGee, I'm proud of you. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> McGee, you are unemployed. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> Nanya, 8,000 people, um, unemployed. McGee, one man, one partner. McGee, we die. Say, I am going to go to the base. Like, Bring. McGee, you I'm Krenjo. He just said, Krenjo, the bottle. He can't join. He says, I have a people to make G. This is to make G. Who win a whole pack, who's going to vend. Who's going to vend. Who's going to vend. Who's going to vend. Who put a must be passed. 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 This is nice for real. Thank you, my sister. I'm uh, Celesta, I'm, I'm appreciative of the love you always give me on social media. I missed you since Massive Metro days. I know. I before, missed. I, this is, what I before hate. Before COVID. What I hate on my journey so far <laughs> is that I miss doing radio with you. The yeah. way you wanted us to do radio. And I was like, damn. It would be so nice. I was like, damn. It would be so nice. <laughs> and then the you, you've since gone on to a, a successful international career. Congratulations. I'm, I'm happy. I'm very happy. I'm happy. I'm very happy. Like, I think also this is the spirit of just doing things and, you know, just go for it. You know, I was, I was making fun of you and your mo fire and everything else, but really it took you to get out of yourself to be here. And I think it just, all of us, I wish we, we get that because... At the end of the day, there's nothing we can do about politics, about everything that is out there is out of our control. But if you can control our lives and, and what we think is better for us and move towards our dreams, the universe is going to respond. And I think if, if, if everyone as an individual can do that, because this is defying, you know, the status quo, what Meg G is doing today, what you did with this, what everyone is doing with their great things, is that whole thing of, this is, this is no, you had a plan, you, you had a dream, but you don't have a step to step by step plan. You, that's why it's, it's trust the process. The moment to some cockwain, I'm not just telling my story. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> the three beautiful, I, I don't even think anybody all over the world is actually realizing this. Let me now paint this scenario because I'm going to put it together as a big home. Everyone is, is looking at it like independently, but 
there's three historical moments that happen, happened this week. It's, it's my G, podcast and chill team, Ghost Lady, Mashavala Creatives, mm -hmm. all the chillers, South Africans, Africans, filling up this venue with 8,000 people just on a podcast that started from nowhere, right? Mm -hmm. This is this week, this is today as a Sunday. Yeah. But if you, you, you go seven days backwards, it's just this week. Yeah. Yesterday it was the EFF's 10th anniversary. Bruh, that was that, filling up yeah, FNB Stadium, right? For me, I kind of feel... It doesn't matter whatever you think about anything. If you believe you can achieve your dreams, it's not the last day. Like, mm -hmm. you can go achieve greater things. But in a space of 10 years, though, mm -hmm. this is only the beginning. Oh, yeah. And, and what is achievable in the future. And then one other third moment was obviously everybody congratulating us about Mofi getting into mm -hmm. um, checkers. And we appreciate Bruh. that. So what does it say to that, to you as a black person? Well, what, what does that say to you as a black person? Well, it says na mang try some pen timing so I told us I'm wearing something. No, but more than anything, it just says I must continue and do what I do best. Uh, I'm also getting into this space because I've been doing things old school. I didn't have an a YouTube page up until last week. Shout out oh, to me. Now you can find me well on done. Celeste to the official first time. What, what is the YouTube? Celeste to live uh, official, sure. but I'm also getting into this space because um, there's so many people that have been asking me after after Medji's podcast and chill interview and your hustlers corner. I had so many of Uncle Leg, and I started to get to know this podcast. I'm like, how many podcasts are out there? Because everyone is asking me to be part of them and to join them and to talk. To them. And, and I had to be told by so many people, DJ Fresh, and I was like, okay, let me look into this thing. So I'm venturing into this um, as an online space. I don't even do skits online on social media. I just do comedy and I sell it. I've been doing work old school. So this is giving me a different shift and an understanding that your work, because also it, it's my lesson that I learned that I can't do without doing old school only. You know, uh, there's nothing that is take uh, that uh, shifting to online doesn't take anything away from me. Um, old school vibes, and I understand as a comedian sometimes the reason why we shy away from online is because love. I'm a likes our cockade. Man's a shy joke. He likes to see their trend. Xasa trendy more fire joke. I'm in cockerang. So now to to make sure that how do you balance stuff that you say online and stuff that you sell. On, on, on stand up because I will never stop doing stand up comedy. But this these things, you guys, podcasts, podcasts and show, I really for me I just saying that you there are so many ways of doing things. If unemployed people like Smu and, <laughs> and, <McGee. laughs> and McGee can and be Sol. can make so much money <laughs> and, and create work for other people. Yeah. Um so yeah, I, I I I've started. Actually this is the first time I have I have my video people here. I have my stylist This is now. content, my friend. Oh, so it's going now to be Now I've got stylists. <laughs> so I have, I have people that dress me up now. <laughs> Some girl or no, Sinalo. And I have Last Bond and <laughs> Konazi. So, so this is... This there's is, a camera in. I never more. roll with people. <laughs> but now I'm going to roll with people. You know sure. what I mean? Because this says that. The movement is, is going in a different direction. But I love that it, it gives a level of independence to everyone. Honestly. I mean... How how nice it is that <laughs> you're officially <laughs> SABC what what <laughs> <laughs> that that brand what is the show you you Mofire no 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 we are the current partners with, with uh, Miss SA Miss SA is it Miss Miss SA Miss SA is it yes. playing on SABC yes for me because I think but I'm that's a, I was like this is so three sixty I'm a father of young <laughs> girls you know no I love so it so we believe in um young girl empowerment Mofire if you read the can people know mm. from back in the day at the back it says um let your mind breed a new fire for passion and rise beyond the ashes of your limitations. Ignite your mind with countless possibilities. You know, so it believes in people believing in themselves. That's why when you see the young people that sell more fine street corners, that they're just on another level, you know? Mm -hmm. For me, I kind of feel, wow, like what a, what a legacy to build. Yeah. Because whether I'm here, I'm no longer here. I think that's how we should think as black people. Let's not limit ourselves as far as yeah. our possibilities are concerned. So if I look at this 8,000 packed, sold out place Bruh. and of somebody as you are saying, I'm like, mm. G was outlawed in the game. Sol was outlawed in the game. The ghost ladies, just young people who decided they can come together and build something like this. So mm. I think, and I guess, and I hope we are all inspired to create 
to pioneer, to start, to do, to lead. I to, am. You know I what am. I mean? It's, 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 and I'm, I'm, I'm inspired by you now. Uzi, now you're starting your own podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah, I am. What, I am. what is the podcast about? <laughs> when are you going to be dropping? Let, 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 I'm dropping next month, and I'm doing so okay. many things next month. Uh, on my birthday, okay. I have my show, which I'm hosting for the first time. I never host lineups. I just do shows that are mine and just, you know, I've always been about me, me, me. But I'm like, okay, let me expand things and do things differently. So I'm doing, for the first time, a lineup of comedians. Celeste and the big dudes. Oh, Celeste. Oh, yeah. Did so you like Empress, the name? Empress Palace. Empress Palace, yes. Empress Palace, yes. Thank you. On the 25th of August. Um, Empress which is my Palace, birthday. 25th of August. Okay. Yeah, which is my birthday. But, um, uh, you know, I was also paying homage to Brenda Fass's big dudes. So, but it's not music, definitely. It's comedy. So it's Celeste and the big dudes. The lineup of comedy. So this is the first one. And also the, the podcast is going to come out in August. Um, first episode. But I'm, I'm shooting it next week. Um... We was working on studios and stuff. I'm telling you guys, this is like now, now, now thing. Like, you know when it's like, okay, now everyone, enough people have said, told me the same thing. Let me listen and, and make a move on it. And and that's what I've been doing. Um, definitely, it's going to be much more humorous. Uh, there was a level of me kind of resenting podcasts because they kind of revealed to people that I'm not just a comedian. And as a comedian, I liked the, the fact that I hid I was hiding in humor that I have deep conversations. I will reserve those for people that know me. Do you understand? Like, so I, whenever I had, I saw people's reaction from what I said in your podcast, in Mashabela's podcast, you know, Megji's podcast, and people started saying, oh, Celeste is deep, Celeste is this. I was like, wait a minute. You know, I started feeling like maybe that's going to take away from my comedy. So I shied away from doing this. I was like, let me... Let me understand what are the people, because the response from people was overwhelming for me. It was good enough for me to know that not so many people know that I can engage to that level. I love the fact that they love that I'm just funny and I'm spogazi and I'm, you know, the humor thing, the silliness was good for me, for the people to know. But now for me to unpack myself and repack myself in a different way to say, yes, there's, there's, there's all part of me. There's funny part of me. There's serious part of me. There's a deep part of me. So I think the podcast is going to be that navigation of not only just me, what I view and how I view it. Because I sometimes reserve myself because I understand that most, I don't share views that are just common because they are common. I question everything. And in questioning everything, you find yourself that you build a different understanding of view of hello 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 hey that's what you say you know hey 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 so um uh the podcast is, is is going to be that but mostly humor i love humor i don't want that to be out of what i am because that's me um you know people i'm, I'm funnier when i'm not even on stage <laughs> I wish, I wish, I wish I am funny off sta on stage as I am off stage. The new, the new crop of um, young comedians? The new crop of young comedians, I love the fact that they're doing it different. Um, I think also there was a level of where we differ. Most comedians that are new, it's easy to put your cam you know, camera stuff, easy, da -da -da, edit and put it out there. But the, 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 the uh, what do you call it? The improv of comedy. The, the, the instant gratification of saying this joke and, he and hearing the laughter now has a different energy. And also, um, when you're a comedian, you have to choose. So which one are you letting go for free? Which one are you selling? I'm selling tickets on the 25th of August, but if everyone else have had everything that I'm saying on the job, so what's the point? You know what I mean? Um, and also the skill of it now. On social media, it's fine because it's cut, cut, edit, put this. Sometimes the humor is in the angle of the camera. It's not really on what you're saying. But now when you're, when you're doing stand-up, it's, it's exactly about what you're saying now and also reading the room now. When I was performing, the 10 minutes of that set was an improv because I was like, oh, chillers are here. So I must, let me just roast Meg G for like 10, 5 minutes. They're going to love it. That was not part of my set. But I can't do that when I'm shooting. But I can do it when I feel the energy of the room. And also, that whole, you know, 
understanding where now do I drop what. So the new comedians are good at doing the thing online, but then the stage part, I find that most of them, because it's either they shy away from doing it, I encourage most of them all the time and say, you are good, you're funny, your videos are trending every day. At least have five minutes of that, you know? Because what happens is that most comedians will hire those trending hum uh, comics that are always doing content online. When they're on stage, now they also themselves feel awkward or they are scared to say certain things. Because the thing is now you have to hear the laughter now. So, but you, there's no way of getting that without doing it. And, and that's where the, the difference is. Comedy is real life, online is online. And, and to find the balance between the two will make most comedians who are starting now to be even far ahead than comedians that were like us. Like this comedian called DC Young Fly, I think I always make him as an example from 85 South, South American. But he's so good because now he performs with earthquakes and all these guys that are considered comedy gods and comedy geniuses. But he's also identifies with an online you know, marketing, market. So it's that whole thing of making sure how do you balance the two. I find that in South Africa, mostly people that do online don't want to do live stand-up. Then, then it's not a complete comedy. You can't say you're, I mean, you can't say you're a comedian, a stand-up comedian. You can be a comedian, of course, you are a comedian, but if you can't do stand-up, then I don't know. It's not enough, I feel, in my view. Um, looking at what make Jiggy Solas uh, have done, Looking at Ke Ke what Cap Spaniel has done in all the stadiums in South Africa, looking at Bernabo, what Bernabo has just done in New York, um, looking at um, what Wizkid, Abu Davido, and all Abu Reim, and all these different artists mm, have been doing all over the pianos. world, especially the um, African artists, right? Mm. I think each generation, and it should be that thing of you building your own audience and believing that you can fill up a venue with just a mic. Mm -hmm. And, and just with God, God given intelligence. So whether you're a comedian, whether you're a speaker, like a motivational speaker, whether whoever you are, you must believe in yourself so much so that you don't, you, you mustn't be in a situation where you feel you need anything. Mm. Like you don't need any gimmick. You don't need Like the more real you are, the more yourself you are, the more unique you are. And some of the things that you think are a disadvantage about you, they're actually an advantage. The very same things that you think are a disadvantage. For me, I kind of feel when I, I study most successful people, that disadvantage is actually your advantage. You're just mm. not aware. And as soon as you are aware mm. and you're comfortable with it and you're able to capitalize on it and express it to the world, whichever way you feel how, it'll take you far. But for me, I admire people who are able to just use their own God-given talents, Celeste, yeah. like what you guys have done. Oh, yeah. To fill up a room and sell it out anywhere in the world. And... um. And make a living out of that and feed your family. So Bruh. for me, I, I don't even look at you guys anymore. I look at the upcoming generations who are watching these videos years from today. You know, they're gonna do better. Like you, you see, even you with more fire and everything. The pioneers are the ones that uh, don't see the actual glory of the thing all the time in every aspect, every genre of life. Most people who started things because they're starting them. You are bound to either miss something or don't concentrate on this. Like, for example, I, I realized how much money I slept on myself when I'm not on the online game. And there was a part of me that was either lazy or also it was that whole thing of, ah, I've made it. I'm on TV. I've, I, it's okay. It's enough. Uh, I, I didn't see it as an expansion. And it, it can happen to anyone to just like, you lack the vision of who you are at that moment. You understand? Like, if you started as woo, you are a different woo now. And, and, and that requires you, as in you, to understand that you are a different school. Because your, your natural behaviors, you're just going to act normal. But your old self has left you. And I feel like that's why most people get depressed and stuck in life, is when you understand you are now too. There's an old you that you must leave behind because now you are in a different space. I'm that right now. I need to understand, oh, it's an old me. Like... Yes, that's what you did. You did the one-man show for the first time. You did a DVD, but that's gone. You are here now. And the fact that you've survived to be here now, that means also you must be flexible. So uh, I, I think that whole thing of the new people coming in and doing things, they're definitely going to do it better than most people. Because also, when anyone who starts in a new more fire, 
is going to take what of yours and more of themselves, right? They're going to study you and say, how does we do it? We are my plane in Yazgam and now I'm going to deliberately plan my flights to give people. Yeah, now he was doing it because he was traveling to this place and the other. I mean, I'm going to make what he did as the whole thing. Do you understand? Now he's improving on your stuff. So it, it, he's bound to get it better because you are a template and then he has his own template. So I, I, I think also you have a chance to learn from that person as much as I have a chance to learn from new comedians. You know, I, I tried to shoot a video on your TikTok. God, yes, yes. Then do one minute go to Churuga. This is a TikTok video. This is TikTok. TikTok doesn't have to be a minute. This 10 seconds is a TikTok video. Yeah, that's even 10 seconds. But I'm saying, if you're now deliberately shooting it yourself, now you find that you want humor. You know, I must say, okay. I'm used to that humor that is improv. So now must, this thing must calculate how was the angle. Which one ah, was my there's no side. calculations, Celeste. The way you've just done it now, there was no calculations of any ruler. Aibu. Like you just did it. This 10 seconds have you seen, is 1 million views. Have you seen I'm telling you. Let me tell you, I know. You but guys you overthink see. things, you overplan things, you overanalyze things. What's that, John? Celeste. I buy 30 million. I wonder about how many millions on TikTok. I'm getting piggies. We don't know how those people are going to behave. I'm getting piggies. All Just I'm do saying it. is, all I'm saying is. No, no, I know. I'm not saying. What about my plumber, 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 let Let me tell you about my day. Need him more fry. Mmm. Said so mm, before the sipping. So now we must sip again. Cut, cut. Sip, sip again. Sip like you don't. Oh, the more fry is not in the good. <laughs> Mm, guys, it's so nice. Yes, and now we must uh, like sometimes, yeah, because I do a real acting. You see, that's also my. Also, you must understand this new age thing makes people visit themselves in spaces where I've never analyzed myself like that. So when I'm acting, I'm I'm totally that character. I get you, but TikTok is the other way around. I know you are like, myself. Like TikTok, what you've just said, uh -huh. like there is no cutting. Good now, guys. I'm gonna the TikTok. Word is. I will TikTok now. <laughs> And, and also, <laughs> ding, 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 ding. yes, there, there are those people who do it on that <laughs> level. When, when I see yeah. Celeste, yeah. there are those people who, who who do it on that level. Yeah, but there are those who just just impromptu content. I think I think I'm an impromptu content, but the thing is, I must trust. Okay, let me say something. I also don't know what's gonna come out of my podcast. Um, Eugene Cosa said to me, "You know yourself. This podcast is gonna be something else." So. Choose the name it's wisely. It's gonna blow up. What and is the name? Like, That's where we were. <laughs> I, want, <laughs> I wanted to call it yet another podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but then, you see, my ripping off part was like, if I go with this thing, so I'm, I'm working with it. I've got two names. Okay. So cool. I've got two names. It could but, be that, but that means literally a comedy route. Mm, you know, you. and 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 so you want to open it to more than just comedy, yeah. So now people are like, Yeah, let me you see that's that's the thing. I'm comfortable with comedy, yeah, because that, what, like what, comedy is my most comfortable space. People who know us from my generation, and I'm talking mm. about people 35 year old and, and older, 40 year old and older. Um, they said, Wow, we didn't know that Celeste is actually deeper than just comedy, you know? I know, and I think your conversations, <laughs> um, and, and I know that you address all issues through comedy. But then I think in, in terms of who Celeste is through the feedback that we got from all those big, those three big podcasts yeah. over the past, say, two years. Yeah. I think, uh, and also knowing you, because I've worked with you on Massive Metro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that as yeah. a platform as well. We work together. Oh, I was so, I, I was think like. You are more than just comedy when I say Celeste. Okay. Know? So whatever the name is, as you are saying, you shouldn't just yeah. box it to just comedy. Well, I was told, I was told already. Yeah. I'm, I'm being told already, like, Celeste, you know yourself. This thing's going to be like, yeah, I know, I know myself as well. Um, so, and I, I love being creative. When I, when I, appro I approach my work in that sense, Celeste and a big dude. I could have called it Celeste and friends, but no, my mind refused. I did a whole photo shoot. You can see the poster. Looks I like, saw it in Emperor's Palace. Yeah, it, it looks it looks like a Brenda versus cover. <laughs> <laughs> and that's an inspiration for yes, the inspiration. new generation, guys. But, but, Osis Brenda, before she was a solo artist, she used to be a part of the band mm. Brenda and the Big, Big Dudes. Dudes. Yes. Yeah. 
And I think uh, Ubabaka Bungan, shout out to my brother Bungan first. I think Ubabaka Bungan was one of the members of the big dudes, right? I, I, could, I, I stand to be um, corrected. Yeah. I think so. I think Please that's, Google it. That's one, dude, that one dude left now, I think. And I actually have to uh, approach the guy. So, you see, I'm, that's how I approach my work. I, I, so, I, I don't know. With the podcast, I know. I'm, I'm trying to... Celeste, no, calm down. It's just a podcast. Don't do too much. You know, like you were saying. Because I'm coming from that thing. You know, I used to do entertainment, lighting, sound and stuff. So whenever I create something, I think of all the compartments. That's my problem. I think I must stick to one. Because right now I'm like, oh, how is the setup? Hey, lighting, that's me. And which is why I've been doing my shows by myself. Because I didn't want to be a nuisance to other people. Okay. You know, but now I'm expanding to understand that, well, other people will contribute. They're not going to take away anything away from me. They're going to contribute more. But all, the only thing I can tell you, this podcast is going to be hot. How hot? <laughs> Find out. Congratulations, <laughs> Celeste Siabong, and I'm glad um, you're here to support Podcast and Chill and the team. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm very happy yeah. to see you. Congratulations on all and, the success. And I'm happy for you to be here. Like, this Nyabo. is amazing. Nyabo. You guys, I'm Nyabo. like, hey. This is, you know, I went to the Essence Festival in New Orleans. This is yeah. a setup. Yeah, Where you have beautiful. other, you know, media yes. spaces you set up. This is amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's lovely. I'm inspired too, you know. It's lovely. I'm dropping a new album and a new book this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm... Um, filling up uh, Emperor's Palace on the 2nd of December. Okay. And that's why I saw your post. Oh, yeah, Empress, Empress yes, yes. And me just being here, I'm inspired that it's obviously possible. It's already yeah. filled up in my mind. Oh, oh yeah, I've know? got my flyers there. Oh, school. Yeah, I saw all your flyers. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get the big dudes. So yeah. I just want to say, guys, it's our time. Let's hey, go I'm practice. Tell him of fire pack stage. Yeah, we must got, talk. No, 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 yeah, I'm, uh, oh, no. Uh, so let's get the big dudes. Danko, danko. But otherwise, love your lives. Love yourselves. I know it's a woman's month. Honestly, just be kind to ourselves and, 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 and just love ourselves regardless. Mkaba or whatever, but try to be healthy as much as you can. But as long as you love yourself and 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 be patient about what you want to do. Honestly, everyone else must go must and say, Yes, masters vote. Hey, so my politicians must not vote. Together we can. Masters vote. Vugus and say. So, I'm not just touching a politic. Vugus and say. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Shout out to my G Podcast and Chill Team. Congratulations to the EFF. Congratulations to um, Mofaya. Congratulations to everyone who's achieving their dreams out there. It doesn't matter. All these things are all words and they're all created by men. They're men made. But the fact that an African child is achieving their dreams out there, whoever you are, we're very proud of you. You might not be in the public eye. You might be doing it in silence. You might not be posting about it. But we're here to acknowledge you, especially the real ones. Because they're still the real ones here on camera. Yeah. I love you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>